Uh, time to check in with the weather centre. Pamela Zonke is standing by. And um, I said this morning in our facts of the day and observances, uh, it is a summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, but of course, what exactly does that mean? Rob Byrne also spoke about it briefly. But uh, let's check in with Pamela just to give us a sense of uh, the longest day in the one hemisphere, longest night in the other uh, hemisphere. So Pamela Zonke, she knows about these things. So she's going to tell us about it. Pamela? Thank you so much, Sakina. So we're looking at the Earth tilt towards the sun. So it's a summer solstice in the northern hemisphere because you've got the uh, North Pole now uh, tilting uh, closest to the sun. And then for us here, it means that we're having our uh, shortest day, so longest night for us. But uh, we'll start seeing now the uh, sunset coming a little later for us. So this is as uh, early as it will come today. And then by a few seconds each day uh, going towards uh, springtime. So we usually say the seasons are split in two with a meteorological winter and then this is astronom astronomical winter starts today. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Um, uh, uh, does it have anything to do with the weather per se outside or the temperatures have nothing to do essentially with solstice no that's more mainly the the positioning of the earth and the sun so the temperature one is our one which starts in june that's when we started our winter so that's when we're looking at the temperature differences and the patterns that we expect well thank you so much pamela for those of us who slept through geography <laughs> class at least now we also know what's going on